What was the experience like being um, recognized the first African American woman to have a film in general release in theaters? At the time, I wasn't, when I made the film, I wasn't thinking about that. I was just thinking, it was a natural progression in my life, having begun uh, studying film in high school and making short films and documentaries and uh, going to undergraduate school and getting a degree in film. And then after that, I went out to Los Angeles to the American Film Institute. It was a conservatory at the time. I spent two years there working. And then after that, I went to UCLA's Graduate School of Film and spent four years making films there. And I came out with an MFA in filmmaking. So by that time, I had created you know, a body of work. I was traveling the world already, uh, going to various film festivals. and. Then I made Daughters of the Dust. It was a natural progression of things. And then people said, whoa, this is the, we were able to get distribution. And they said, well, you're the first African-American woman to have a feature film in wide and general distribution. And we were like, yes, <laughs> that's really great. Uh, another wonderful thing that happened that uh, caused me to become the first was um, when the Library of Congress selected um, my film, Daughters of the Dust, to uh, join the National Film Registry in 2004, making me the first and only African-American woman who is a part of the National Film Registry.